traffic to a halt on both land and sea. We've been talking about that. Now the massive devices there at the Sea Girt Marine Terminal. Yeah, each one of them more than 400 feet tall here. Wow. WJZ live in Southeast Baltimore. Paul Gessler got a front row seat of that ship docking and what the new cranes, Paul, will mean for our region. Well, Nicole, those cranes behind me right now are already over 400 feet tall, and the new ones that arrived today that you're seeing from Chopper 13 are 25 feet taller than those. Port officials say that's more containers into the port and more jobs. The ship lumbered up the Chesapeake Bay after more than two months at sea. That vessel it had quite a journey. Starting in Shanghai, delayed due to hurricanes. Traffic in the bay held at bay. Traffic on the bay and key bridges shut down temporarily. Because cars going across would see that and, and it would uh, catch their attention. The ship barely cleared the Bay Bridge with four feet to spare. In our industry, that's plenty of clearance. <laughs> Longshoremen paused as the ship made its final approach toward the port. For people, the men and women of the ILA, it's more jobs. That's, that's what's going through their mind and more work opportunities. This is what $50 million in cranes looks like. They'll stand 450 feet tall with the goal of doubling the port's container capacity after the Howard Street Tunnel project is complete. It's really focused around growing capacity here in the Port of Baltimore to support the Howard Street Tunnel expansion. Once these cranes are operational in 2022, they'll be able to offload ships that are 23 containers wide. A little longer boom, a little higher in the air. Continue to increase production here, and this is just one more step that's going to help us in that direction. Back live now, you were looking down from Chopper 13 at the Seeger Terminal, and it took about a half hour or so for that ship carrying those four extra large cranes to clear the key bridge and dock at the Seeger Terminal. It'll take several weeks to offload those cranes that arrived this afternoon. Even more cranes are due at the port this spring. For now, reporting live in Southeast Baltimore at 5 this evening, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.